Hi, my name is Shunit, and I'm a master's degree student in autonomy navigation and sets of fusion lab in the Atar Department of Marine Technology, University of Haifa, Israel. Today, I'm going to talk about my research. The research is about the influence of home appliances on the smartphone inertia sensor. And the paper is written by me, Shunit Tuzman, in collaboration with Guy Revach from ETH. At Zurich University and it's a client for the University of Haifa. Uh, some introduction uh, about uh, my uh, paper. Today there is an increasing interest in using smartphone inertial sensor for uh, many uh, usage, like uh, accurate indoor navigation. Determine orientation using an attitude and hidden reference system for a IoT application such as smart home, wearable, smart city, and connected if. The navigation algorithms are based on inertial sensor, which consists which with a accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer. Because the inertial sensors are low cost, they suffer from a lot of external interfaces, which cause a degradation in the performance of navigation, HRS, and IoT application. In my uh, paper, I uh, focus in the uh, accelerometer and gyroscope, uh, while in the li literature, the focus is uh, mainly in the magnetometer. My uh, research uh, goal is as following. One, uh, demonstrate this uh, low-cost accelerometer and gyroscope which suffer from external interfaces in a typical indoor environment. Uh, two, to map that's uh, interfaces which are uh, caused by uh, home appliances uh, using a smartphone in stationary uh, conditions. Uh, three, uh, apply a normal detection algorithm to detect and remove interfaces in the inertial sensor data. And uh, for final analysis, the influence of such interfaces on the inertial signal and edge ways. To uh, demonstrate the influence of uh, such interfaces on the inertial sensor, I uh, conduct uh, an experiment which uh, tests the interfaces which are caused by home appliances uh, on a smartphone inertial sensor. Uh, the experiment uh, is uh, conducted the uh, following. I uh, place uh, the phone near a fan in stationary condition for uh, 90 seconds. After that, uh, the fan was on uh, between uh, 40, uh, if, uh, 45 to uh, 55 uh, second uh, mark. And then uh, it uh, was uh, off. Uh, the result uh, you can see in the graph below. As uh, you can see, uh, when uh, the fan was uh, on, uh, it uh, caused two uh, interfaces in the inertial sensor reading. Alpha, uh, we expected to, uh, to get a uh, behavior uh, which is uh, fixed during the fan activation. And it's a proof uh, our point. Uh, to solve uh, this uh, problem, we uh, proposed the uh, approach. Uh, our uh, proposed uh, approach uh, for natural sensor normal detection rejection is uh, consists of uh, two main uh, stage. Um, in the block diagram below, you can see the post, uh, post proposed uh, approach for natural sensor normal detection rejection. In uh, this uh, approach, uh, we take uh, the inertial sensor raw data, we pass uh, the data through a multivariant Gaussian distribution normal detection algorithm to identify and reject interfaces from the second inertial data. If the algorithm is uh, labeled uh, some sample as anomaly, so uh, the data is uh, passed to uh, the next block, the anomaly rejection block. And in this block, uh, we place uh, the interfaces uh, data with the uh, general data, which is uh, based on the statistic of the previous and normal sample. And after that, 
the synthesis uh, sample, they go to the downstart uh, task. If the anomaly detection uh, don't recognize any uh, anomaly uh, sample, so uh, the good uh, sample is uh, down passed to the downstream task. Some uh, analyzes uh, any result. Um, many OMA appearances will examine to quantify the effect of such devices on inertial sensor reading while uh, the smartphone uh, was in stationary mode. Uh, some of the OMA appearances uh, you can see in the table uh, below. As uh, you can see, the OMA appliances impact uh, the accelerometer and gyroscope beside the known effect on the magnetometer. Uh, to quantify the influence of home appliances, I uh, consider a free level of interface which defined for each sensor, low, medium, and height. And you can see that in the table uh, in the right side below. Uh, the HRS uh, performance. Uh, the inertial measurement uh, will incorporate into the majority algorithm uh, to estimate the phone orientation expressed, expressed in Euler uh, angle, wall pitch, and yaw. You can see the result in the table below. As you can see, at the time the home appliances were activated, the inertial signal were affected and causing error in the edge of its algorithm and caused to a uh, interfaces in the old pitch and yaw. To quantify the influence on the earlier angle, I consider the free uh, level of interfaces for each uh, sensor, low, medium, and high, as you can see in the table uh, below. After uh, we analyze this, um, the interfaces in each uh, sensor reading. We uh, pass uh, the interfaces to a uh, multi Gaussian anomaly detection algorithm uh, to recognize the anomaly. Uh, the result you can see in the graph uh, below. As you can see, uh, the algorithm succeeded in identifying the inferences, the inferences on all inertial sensors. In red is the interface which was uh, detected. In uh, blue, it's uh, the raw data which uh, was uh, not labeled as anomaly. After the interface uh, was detected, we uh, took we and took each sample that was identified as anomaly and replace it with a, a new uh, sample with the statistic of the previous and normal sample. Uh, the filter data was incorporated, incorporated into the majority algorithm to estimate it, the full intention given in terms of Euler uh, angle. Uh, the result you can see in the graph below. So in red, it's uh, a synthetic uh, the filter uh, data while in red is uh, the interfaces which was detected as the uh, anomaly. Instead of them, uh, it's uh, the blue sample, which uh, demonstrate uh, the statistic of the previous and normal sample. Okay, uh, for conclusion, uh, some uh, paper I'd like. So in uh, this paper, I uh, analyzed the impact of interfaces caused by homoplysis on inertial sensor. And so uh, homoplysis and influencing the inertial sensor with it were mapped and sorted. Uh, their impact on the majority of the address and waiting was demonstrated. The multi gaussian anomaly detection approach was applied. And as you can see in the result, it succeed, succeed to identify and check the interfaces in the inertial data in, in stationary condition. Then, and for final, the filter uh, data was 
incorporated into the majority algorithm and obtain a major improvement in the HRSA performance. So thank you for your listening. Uh, you're welcome to ask uh, any question.